My name is Gaurav Sahai. I am a postdoc at the Langer Lab. My name is Avi Schroeder. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in the Langer Lab. My name is Paulina Hill. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the Langer Lab at the Koch Institute at MIT. It's actually, we met uh, just talking around in the, in the coffee room. Paulina presented a huge medical problem that she's working on, trying to repair nerves. So the problem we were trying to tackle here is the problem of nerve injury. Uh, nerve injury is a significant clinical problem. There are uh, hundreds of thousands of both peripheral nerve and spinal cord injuries in the world each year. People who have been exposed to different uh, injuries, for example the spinal cord injury, they have a great difficulty of getting treated because the drugs which are required to go inside uh, the spinal cord cells in this case, the nerve cells uh, fail to do that. The idea we thought about is supplying the building blocks that nerves need to repair themselves. If we have a house and we want to uh, build a house faster, bring, bringing trucks loaded with uh, cement and concrete will actually help build that house faster. And that's actually what we wanted to do here. And so what we're looking at here is the uptake of many limp lipid nanoparticles that are shown to promote regeneration. What nanotechnology enables us to do is to encapsulate certain drugs like neurotrophic factors or other, other drugs that might possibly uh, help when they're released over time to stimulate nerve repair. So what we're looking at in this image is a single neuronal cell. What you see here is uh, red blobs, which are actually carriers or transporters, which are taking lipid nanoparticles inside the cells. These dots are a mechanism of a cell to take different proteins and nutrients inside the cells. So in a way, we are able to hijack uh, this normal mechanism of a cell to take in materials and push in our nanoparticles. Gurov was actually able to track these nanoparticles as they entered the cell and watch them over time. We have here only one of those moments, but it's an amazing moment. You know, this is just one nice example of developing nanoparticles to um, affect nerve tissue. Um, but more broadly, we see these approaches as being useful for many different things, whether that's for cancer therapy or regenerative medicine or, or even other diseases. These guys are, you know, the people in the lab are really doing a wonderful job. I mean, I think everybody's very excited about the work and, and you know, really we've been making, we like to think, pretty good progress. So, so, uh, so we're very excited about it.